Hey, hello, hello, my wonderful people. It's been so long. It's been very, very long. And uh, it's good to be back again. And I missed you guys so much. You remember I promised that I would be putting up a video before I left. Unfortunately, the timing was a bit crazy. And, you know, the preparations of traveling home was a bit hectic on me. And then on going up country, I was not able to upload any video because it's it's too much on being on mobile data. So now I'm back to the city and at least I can now be able to do a video a week or so because at least in the city I have the unlimited internet and, you know, it's not hectic to do a video anymore. So today I'm just going to give you something short and sweet and this is for the general channel. And then the next video would be both for the VIP. So in this general video, let me call it general because I treasure everybody in my YouTube. In, not in the YouTube, but in the Telegram channel, I mean. I treasure everybody in the YouTube channel and in the Telegram channel. And so I'm giving this out not because it's not working, but because I treasure you guys and if you follow instructions very well, you remember I'm a teacher. If you follow instructions very well, this strategy is super good, super good. So that it's coming in the free channel does not mean it's not beneficial, okay? Please understand that it's coming in the general channel does not mean it's not beneficial. Now, this strategy is so simple, not complicated at all, using two indicators, as simple as it is, okay? So, you you know I, I'm, I'm a lover of the TDI. So, the first indicator window is the TDI. This here is the TDI. And the second indicator window is a CCI, Commodity Channel Index, at default 14. And you place a moving average on top of it, okay? Moving average. Actually, it is MA12 applied to close. MA12 applied to close. So those are the settings. Uh, CCI, Commodity Challenge, Channel Index uh, 14, default. And then moving average, 12, MA12 applied to close, okay? Now, how does this work? It works if the first good thing about this strategy is it will sift all the bad signals for you unless if you want to tamper around with it or you just put a trade and if it comes into a loss, you close because it gives you a stop loss of four to five candles at most, okay? So if it goes across or you see a signal shifting, I will explain in that you close okay so this is how it works check this point here the red line is our moving average 12 when the moving average 12 is coming to meet with the cci just as it is happening here okay when the moving average 12 is coming to meet with the cci that is your entry point. But it will only apply to be your entry point if when it is meeting like this, yeah, when it is meeting like this, our, 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 our TDI should not be touching the upper band, okay? Because anytime we are along the band, it shows you continuation of trend, like the trend can be a bit stronger. Okay, so when they are crossing like here, the TDI should not be touching the upper band. That should be very key point. So this is what you use to sift away the bad signals, okay? So let's check. You see? Immediately, sorry, I need the... This here was already crossing with that and it was a valid signal. Unfortunately, I told you, let it not be touching the upper band and so it was touching. And when we moved forward, 
you saw how this moving average shifted. That is what I was trying to explain earlier. You saw how this moving average shifted. And every time there's a shifting of the signal that you're using, whether you're using an Ichimoku or you're using a moving average or you're using anything, just as, as in any other strategy that you place a trade when this when two indicators are meeting at some point and then you find your signals have shifted please get out of that trade because the market will still go up and cover this space before your signal again is valid for you to place a trade okay mark my words very keenly whether you're using ichimoku or cci or whatever indicator you're using and then it shifts like from your point of entry it shifts and creates some room so it's time to move out of that trade and let the market cover this pace until when the signal is valid again the next time okay so this is what i was trying to explain earlier please note that let's move you see it's going to cover you see it's going to cover there now that is when our signal now is a bit valid here but when we come on top we find we've been touching the upper band so it's nullified this signal completely so this is how you sift the bad signal okay when when they are crossing down here and on top it's already touching the upper band then the signal is not valid and you see it continues going up and up and up until when a, and a spike comes okay of course it will come in series but for me i would put that signal as not valid according to our strategy okay i would put that signal as not valid according to our strategy we go forward as long as the cci is meeting as long as the cci is meeting with the moving average 10 let's continue you will have so many other spikes in between don't worry about them you don't need to catch all the spikes okay always pick a strategy here no that was a shifting so not valid continue our moving average now is going on top more spikes there all this according to our strategy are not our right signals okay there we come our moving average is trying to go up so it's on a ranging market very ranging market there it tries to come up and then something there this is almost you check this it's almost more spikes down this so this is another valid signal according to down here but on top it's already touching the upper band but according to me i would take this trade this is why i would take the trade our tdi band is very wide our tdi band is very wide and uh, our 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 trend has not been very strong we, like we are more of a ranging market okay we are on more of a ranging market than a strong uptrend or downtrend so when this tdi band is very wide i would i would did so much taken this trade okay because it's telling me the trend is not strong so let's see there you go you see there you go as much as it was touching the upper band here but from what we could see it was on a ranging market it was on a ranging market okay so the essence is you catch when they meet like this the cci and the moving average meet and the trend is not very strong that is a valid signal that is the catch again there with they've met 
And now this is one of my sweetest points. When your TDI is in the middle, somewhere of the middle, not touching anything. If you get this signal, when your moving average is crossing the CCI, moving average crossing the CCI, and on your TDI is in the middle of nowhere. It's not on the lower band, neither is it on the, uh, on the down band. It's just in the middle, like, you know, it's a ranging market, not stretched in any way, not touching the upper band. This kind of signal, I would place my all. Okay, this is a very solid signal here. I would place my all. Let's check. There you go. Woo, sweet. I know that. Check this setup again. When they are crossing here, when they are crossing, and your TDI is in the middle of nowhere. And your band is very wide. Okay, your band for the TDI is very wide. To tell you that it's a ranging market, the trend is not very strong. It's a ranging market. So, and your TDI has not touched the upper band, and neither is it on the lower band. It's just in the middle of nowhere. This is the sweetest signal. So if you can be able to, to, to take a point home on this strategy, this is what we were looking for. Okay? When they are crossing and our TDI is in the middle of nowhere, that is what we were looking for. It's the sweetest point ever. Place your hole. This is a trade I can give you 100% assurance. Okay? And you see? Three more spikes. Crazy. So you can imagine this kind of setup. You can pull your account if you get just five signals in a day. Just five signals in a day. Okay? Just five signals in a day. And you can triple your account. Why? Because it is a very solid setup. Very solid. And it will come two to three spikes, not just one spike alone. It will come two to three spikes. Let's see if we can get another setup like that. Okay, and remember, I'm using uh, the Crash 1000 here. Why I decided to use the 1000 is because Crash's uh, 1000s tend to be on a very strong trend. So here, I'm trying to prove something to you that, that even 1000 you can still cut spikes, okay? Wow, my battery is getting low somehow, but we will finish. Let me, let me off my, I'm trying to off my, to, to put on a flight mode so that I can be able to, to complete what I'm doing, but it's okay. Let's look for another setup. Let's look for another. You see, like here, it, it was not a valid setup. There. Did you see that shifting? Look, when we are going to touch, and then there's a shift. So when you see a shift, don't place a trade. Wait until it covers that space. There you go. It's covered the space. And uh, here, we are in the middle of nowhere, and we've covered the space here. So let's check. There. You see? Spike came. Okay? As much as it was one spike, but it came. Another one? There. Do you see this setup here? It, the, the, the CCI and the moving average has met. And here, the TDI is in the middle of nowhere. It's not on a strong uptrend. Let's see. There. Woo, a long one. I told you guys. I told you guys. So the secret behind this trade is this point is more of oversold or overbought spiking zone. Yet the trend is not strong. I told you, don't try to catch a spike on strong trends. It is like trying to milk an elephant. So we are looking for weak points where our markets has gone to oversold or overbought, yet the trend is very weak. 
yeah very weak not like on a very strong trend okay so that is when you are able to catch spikes very well let's continue you see more and more spikes more and more spikes so i told you the spikes will come like in continuation so after this first spike comes always try to come and catch again on the middle of your tdi or on the middle of the main one so the middle bollinger band here or the middle bollinger band here because this kind of setup has potential of continuation okay it has a potential of continuation so let's continue and look for another setup another setup our moving average now has gone down completely it started going up there no that was a shift it was not a valid signal but we are heading up another spike came beforehand anyway let's still go we only place a trade if our signal is valid let's continue we'll only place a trade if our signal is valid there we are heading unfortunately on top it has disqualified us here we already stretched so not a valid signal though it came but it was not a valid signal for us let's watch the second one there we are heading up with spike beforehand yeah it spiked beforehand let's continue seeing let's go up there but the top part is disqualifying us the top part we are touching the top part of the bollinger band not the top bollinger of the tdi so it's disqualifying us you see and it shifted here it shifted you see it's now shifting it's shifting as you continue so i that is how to sift bad signals you see you will avoid all this stretch you will avoid all this stretch okay there we go we are heading almost touching there and uh, look here we are already touching the top band for me i will somehow place this trade uh five candles if it doesn't spike i go out why because these first two spikes had 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 broken the trend for us okay it had broken the trend for us like you see even the moving average move from top came a bit to form a cup to come to the top again so this for me is not a very strong trend like this here so when i see this kind of movement on my moving average i can't compare it with this steep uptrend okay so i would for sure risk this if it doesn't spike after five candles i close so let's see you see it shifted it shifted so the moment it goes past five candles no spike close the trade see we continue you see the shifting the, the the moving average shifts there it shifted again so i've told you about the shifting when it shifts move out of your trade okay now let's check again another signal another signal it's coming but on top it's already disqualified us though i know it will spike soon according to my own analysis it will spike soon but let's check there you go so it's more of trend continuation check here so the first spike comes 
Yeah, the first spray comes and then the moving average remains on top. When you see this kind of setup, you are free to place a trade. When the moving average remains on top and uh, the CCI has gone below it. So when the CCI is trying to come up before it touches, please place your trade. You see there. Please place your trade. Very valid signal. And on top here, we are in the middle of now. In fact, the mid Bollinger band of the TDI. And you see from there, the spy came. So actually, we were targeting the mid Bollinger band. And on top here, our moving average was on top of the CCI. So this setup here is another sweet point. So have another sweet point where the moving average is on top of the CCI. Okay, let's continue. There we are going up again, another spike before we reached on top. Okay, so the setups may be a bit few, but when you get them, they are the sweetest ever. See here, this is almost, it's touched, unfortunately, We've touched the top part of the band, so I wouldn't place this trade. Oh, sorry guys. My space is full. My battery is almost low. But you've understood what I meant, okay? You've understood what I meant. So, you see, like this point here. I told you, when the CCI goes below and the moving average remain above. And then here will be in the middle of nowhere so when you get this set up please place your trade and you see there okay in fact two more spikes that's it guys yeah you let this there was a shift you see here so it's already touched the top part of the band so i would place that trade but it still came yeah so this was an open trade like i would try it 50 50 but uh, why i would try it is because the trend of the the trend had been the trend strength had been broken by these spikes here so this stretch was a weak one and the bollinger band here was a bit wide so i would for sure like tried this though not my set up for this strategy but yeah i can always try something new and i always know where it spikes so that's it for this video guys make sure you subscribe to our channel and i uh, hope i'll still bring you another strategy before the end of next week i know we'll be so busy trading and me getting back to the market but another strategy is coming soon. Coming very, very soon. God bless you guys and happy trading.